What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Apple finally this year in the iPhone 14 Pro series enabled a feature we've all been waiting on. It's that always on display. But as you guys can see here, it is not in the traditional implementation that we've ever seen before. All Apple basically does, and it's pretty impressive, is it dims the display, keeps the same color pattern, and it just makes it look kind of misleading. And a lot of people actually complained saying that it looks like it is still active, causes people to be checking their phone out, and a lot of people just wanted that traditional black and white looking display. Well, unfortunately, Apple did not give us many options under the always on display, but there has been a workaround found to enable just a black and white always on display. So if you guys want something more similar to this, oops, there you are. It is now possible to have just that black and white look. Let's take a look really quick and I'll show you guys how to implement this. It takes about three seconds. Okay, so once you have your iPhone 14 Pro in hand, this is your traditional lock screen for that always on display. Again, it just is basically dimming what's already on that display. So if you wanna have more of a traditional lock screen and possibly a battery saving option, what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually go into one of your focus modes. So we'll just use do not disturb for now um, and adjust it here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is hop into whichever option you want, go under options and simply enable dim lock screen. And when that is enabled, you can see it says darken the lock screen when this focus is on. With that enabled, and turning on do not disturb, you now can see it looks a little different than what it did prior. So, again, if you want this off, you're back to that traditional lock screen for the always on display. And then if you enable it, you can see basically a more black and white option. I think there's a little hint of color when it is actually locked. You can see the purple hue, but actually for the AOD itself, it is white and black. So yeah, it's that easy, guys. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know if this is something you're interested in doing. Again, it's not a all-in-one solution. I don't think everyone might necessarily like this option, but it is pretty simple. It's a good holdover till Apple decides to actually finally give us more options here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.